All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you once again from my local Burger King here in Yokosuka, Japan, to try out the new black burgers. So going from red to back in black. See you in the next bit. Okay, so for this iteration of the black burgers, we have the Kudo Shogun, which is the just standard black burger affair. And then we have the Kudo Taisho, which judging from the looks of it is either a chicken sandwich or a fish sandwich, I'm not quite sure yet. But just looking at the uh, plate here, they're made with the usual you know, bamboo, bamboo charcoal uh, buns, cheese, they got the black sauce with like little bits of uh, like fried onion and stuff. And then we have the actual Kudo Shogun, which is the Shogun, sorry, which is the actual black burger. I think the only difference between it and the Thai show, aside from the meat, is the Shogun has like actual uh, onion, it looks like. I think it's onion or potato, I'm not quite sure yet. But we'll find out. So, first up is the new guy, the Kudo Thai show. So, open this bad boy and do a little taste test. So, let's see what's inside. <laughs> Guess the bun's a little too moist. I accidentally, oops, <laughs> accidentally ripped off the top there. So, it's a little behind the scenes for you there. Let's see what the bun on the inside looks like. So, just like uh, last time, it's kind of the standard bun affair. So, let's open it up. So, oh, it's sesame seed. My apologies. These are sesame seeds, looks like. They got the black sauce, uh, the patty, the cheese at the bottom there. That's about it. So, the next bit, we'll give her a taste and see how she fares. So, see you next bit. So, see how the Kuro Taisho fares. So, um, this doesn't taste like a, uh, <laughs> yeah, the black stuff in my teeth. So it doesn't taste like uh, fish or chicken at all. In fact, it's uh, I think it's like a like fried pork or something, like a pork katsu, or something like that. Kind of tastes like country fried steak a little bit. Just a little bit. So not bad. Not bad. So <laughs> in the next bit, we'll see how the good old kudo shogun tastes. So see you there. Okay, and just like with the Kudo Taisho, we'll put her up and we'll do a taste test. So, let's see how this reiteration of the black bun fares. Ooh, and the bun is, well, mostly intact. <laughs> I think it's just because of the moisture, not to do anything else, so just never mind that. So, let's open her up. Ooh, this is interesting. So just like with the Kudo Thai show, it's got little sesame seed flecks here, the black sauce, which there seems to be a lot more of this time around. And uh, I think these are either like sliced onions or bamboo shoots or wait, no, this, oh, this is, uh, this is like uh, sweet potato, I think. That's like sliced bits of sweet potato. And you got the sauce and then there's the cheese right there. So, Shut this thing up and uh, see how she tastes. So, see you in the next bit. Alrighty, so we got the good old Kudo Shogun, Kudo Shogun or the Black Burger, and uh, we'll see how this one fares. So, Dakimas. Mm. Mm. I think, I think I, oh Jesus, it's everywhere now. <laughs> So, I think I prefer this iteration of the black burger to the other one. I think they're a little more, a little more generous with the sauce this time around, as you can see. <laughs> so, um, tastes kind of the same. It's a little bit, uh, kind of almost has like a garlicky sort of taste to it. I'm guessing maybe that's teriyaki or something like that. So, otherwise, pretty good experience. A little messy, but not too bad. So, with that said, this is the Andy Song, signing for now. Thanking you guys for uh, joining me on my little 
taste test of the Kuru Taisho and the Kuru Shogun, the black burgers available in uh, Burger King Japan at the time of this recording. And uh, for watching my other stuff, also gotta thank you guys for liking, thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.